Howdy folks, today we have this delicious um, pea base. Don't know the brand, don't know what's going on, but I do know how to fix it. And how we fix this is basically we replace all the electronics. Now, I've already pulled the scratch plate off. Um, this base is in poor, poor condition. It, it's a cheapy base, um, so it's, 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 you know, probably worth 50 bucks and sadly the work I'm gonna do on it is gonna be worth more than 50 bucks. For starters, the ground plug, which I assume is going to the uh, bridge here, that's held together by that um, electrical sticky tape, you know the, the heat resistive stuff you find inside iPhones and things like that. Um, cap. Cap 10, Capcom tape or something. Anyway, that's held together with that, so we're going to fix that. The pots are uh, wired around the wrong way. This is the volume pot, this is the tone pot. This should be the volume pot. This should be the tone pot. The output jack is a flimsy plastic piece of garbage. Um, essentially what we're going to do is fix this. I'm going to put some heat shrink on there instead and re-solder this. The other way around obviously resolder it and then put heat shrink on it we are going to replace these pots here with nice CTS pots actually sorry no these are burns pots these are burns we may need to um, oversize the holes where the pot goes through because the burns pots um, have a larger diameter thread we're probably going to replace this capacitor here, which looks like a... Oh yeah, 0.047 UF. Um, now, what we're going to do is... I'll get myself a 0.047 UF cap. Um, so, we're going to replace that. We're going to put some nice, solid burns pots in there. Um, not these little tiny 16 mil, but 25 mil ones. So nice and big, robust, uh, nice and smooth operation. And get rid of this junk here. Now, let's pull this ugly tape off. It's um, brittle anyway, it's just falling apart like plastic. And, uh, oh yeah, two wires tied together with a bit of tape around it, that's nice. Right now, I just want to clean up this mess. All these ground wires are going everywhere, so that ground wire won't be necessary. This, this ground wire here will not be necessary because all you have to do is bend this pin on the pot up towards the body like I'll show you on this burns pot I'll do right now. So all I do is bend it down, bend it back, and it makes contact with the body, like so, and I'll just run some solder along there like that, and then everything will be soldered to that. First thing we need to do is I'm going to, yep, so it looks like the holes for the pot so what I'm gonna do is just with a drill, with a drill bit, okay, I'm just by hand, I've gone up in size by one mil and I just scrape away at it like that, okay, and then, don't worry, I'm gonna vacuum all this up and then I go up another size. Now that was a 8.5 mil. Um, how do you check what size drill bit you need? Well, you get your bit, and you hold it up against the thread of the pot, and if you can no longer see the thread poking out behind the drill bit, then you pretty much bang on. Now that one I can just see, that's a 9mm. I don't know what that is in Imperial, metric, uh, it's 9mm. Let's see if the pot fits through. Nah, very tight. I could probably screw it in, but I don't want to do that. Okay. 9.5 mil, here we come. So, again, just gently, by hand, 
work your way through it. Okay, so you can see it's chewing off that plastic. So that's all we need to do by hand. Now I can fit these burn pots, burns pots in nicely and they fit nice and snug. Okay, with a washer there and the bolt on or the nut on there should be fine. Okay, so let's mount the buggers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maneuver this pot into position right here and when I put the other pot in I'm going to have it facing it. Okay, nice short wires, none of this sp spaghetti mess of garbage, okay. So, I'll do that pot in a sec. For now, I just want to grab my shifter and you just want to gently hand tighten this up. It doesn't need to be super tight. It doesn't need to be super tight. This is, look, I can move this around, it's fine, okay? It's absolutely fine. So, I'm going to grab this other one. This nut here is just providing space, okay? And the reason it's doing that is because if I don't have that nut here, let's have a look. If I don't have that nut here, this pot is going to stick right out. And when I put the knobs back on, what will happen is the knobs will get down to like here. And you'll have this knob sticking up off the scratch plate. Looks ugly. Doesn't feel nice to play either. I want the knob to sit almost flush, almost in contact with the body. Like that. Okay. So when I put that on there, it fits nicely. Oh, the other thing we're going to do is replace this, but I'll do that last. The output jack's going to get replaced with a... Um, with what I've got in stock. Let's see what I've got in stock. Um, oh yeah, one of these suckers. There we go. Yep, nice switchcraft, quarter inch jack. There you go, switchcraft, beautiful. First thing I'm gonna do is just ground this pot. So I'm gonna clean my soldering iron tip. I need to give it a good clean, but hey, that's how it goes. It's pretty clean. And I'm just gonna leave it on the corner of the pot here. And the whole idea is I want a nice, smooth ground connection which is done okay so that pot's done hooray um, okay next thing we need to do okay I might keep some wire around for the output jack signal to go to the middle lug yeah i might do that right now okay so the i'm going to replace this pink and gray wire that's going from the output jack the the hot end the tip just the tip <laughs> into the middle lug of the volume jack well i'm going to make it go to the middle lug of the volume jack up here and this is a nice lengthy piece of wire uh, what I'm going to do is route this, so from here, okay, well let, let's connect it to the pot first, so let's do this side, okay, so, uh, sorry about that folks, um, just got another delivery, more parts, where were we? Um, we're going to wire in stuff. First thing I'm going to do is just, um, I'm just going to mount this wire somewhere, anywhere, doesn't matter where, just like that. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to tin it. Let's, uh, find a good way to mount this wire so it's not moving around. That'll do. Okay. So... Pre-tinning the wire, can you see this? No, you can't see this. Pre-tinning the wire, the reason I'm doing it is just get some solder on the wire here, okay? And the reason you pre-tin, the reason you pre-tin, so I'm putting solder on both joints, 
and then it's nice and easy when you put them together. The other reason you preteen is because what happens then is that you have a nice wire that you don't need to worry about. And uh, you don't need to hold solder and wire and everything else. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to route this wire down like so underneath this pot. And we don't need excessive amounts of cable. So I'm just going to snip it here. out here okay and then I'm going to trim that <clears throat> okay so roughly in the shape that's fine pre tin it even though there's plenty of solder there Okay, and all I'm going to do now is solder left-handed. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, hang on mate, hang on, you're about to replace this output socket, why bother? First of all, why bother? It's two wires, it's going to take me a total of 15 seconds to unsolder them, uh, undo the nut, take the old output jack off, put the switchcraft one on, and you know, why not do that right now? I'm just doing this because I just want the wires to be in the place I need them to be in. Okay, and the, the reason for that is so that I can keep track of this. Now normally what I would do is I would um, draw a diagram of what's going on here. The reality is, for this job, for this instrument, it's it's seriously not worth it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this customer's instrument is worth less than the repair that I'm doing right now. So let's get some nice, high quality signal wire here. So that's going to go from pin one of this pot to to the middle pin on the tone pot okay so wire from here to there that's it nice and simple so it's just going to be a straight wire that goes from there to there just like that I'm just going to clip the pickup leads straight off here because they're they're shot okay um, and that goes to ground anyway, so that comes off, that comes off, that pot can go in the bin. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this ground wire to the side of this pot right here. Okay. And the reason I'm doing the side is because that way it's nowhere near the wipers. It's tucked away, out of the way. What I do next is I'm going to run the ground from this side of the pot right here. I hope you can all still see that. Yeah, that's still in view. I'm going to fill up some more solder in here and I'm going to run this wire down here again to the side of the pot. Um, all right, so signal's going to go to there, ground can go anywhere, great. I'm just looking at the other pot to compare and make sure that I'm doing this right. So what I'm going to do, again, keeping everything nice and tidy, my signal wire, the white wire, is going to connect to here, and my ground wire is just going to connect up here. So what I'm going to do is twist these wires. These are coming from the pickups, the P-Base pickups here. I'm just going to pre-tin them, okay? So I'm just going to... Tuck them, tuck them in somewhere. Let's go under these pots. Somewhere where I just don't want them to move around, really. Okay. Um, Alright. 
pre-tin these wires. Now the last thing, well, second last thing we got to do, third last thing we got to do. <laughs> the tone pot's not going to work. Well, it is, but it's not going to be very effective. You need a capacitor in there. And the reason you need a capacitor in there is because you want to be able to have some sort of tone cutting. A capacitor, this is basically like a crossover, okay? And it's like a base cut or treble cut. Whatever, whatever direction you want to use it in, I don't care. Um, you, you effectively, the capacitor there, you're, you're, you're dialing in and out that capacitor, okay? And effectively, what's happening is that the cap, I'm going to tuck it in underneath here, out of the way. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the value sticking up. So that the, um, the the next person working on this can tell what it is, and the next technician who opens this will go nice because it's nice and tidy. Let's get the cap soldered into place over here so it's nice and sturdy. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some heat shrink on the, um, the cap here, on this leg, just so it doesn't make contact with anything else. Okay, the heat shrink does not have to be heat shrunk, it just needs to be, sit somewhere and and look good and not make contact with anything that's the important part um, but I am going to pre-tin the area where I want it to make contact and ground and we snip off the excess because we don't want that floating around inside our instrument and we'll snip off this excess because we don't want that floating around inside our instrument there we go, nice tidy wiring. Now, second last thing we need to do is we're going to replace this jack. So let's uh, let's unsolder these wires that we soldered on here. Next thing we do, solder the new jack in place. And we solder the ground wire in place. And that's done. Now the final thing we really need to do is that ground wire that was suspicious that was hanging off our um, hanging off our instrument. That ground is going to probably go here with this ground. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do that, and then that way that's nice and grounded. Okay, so let's. Let's pre-tin first. Okay. And we're done, we're rewired. So, now what I'm gonna do is, I've tightened the, uh, the pots up, I'm just going to tighten the, uh, the output jack up. Okay, nipped up nicely, and that's it. This is one rewired Fender P base. And let's make sure none of our cables and nothing is really sticking up. Now, before I really put this down, I'm just going to plug it into an amplifier and uh, make sure it works. Oops. Have it, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, that's how you wire a P base in uh, under 50 minutes. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I love all your support that you give me, and um, I really appreciate you watching my channel. So keep up the good work. 
I'm going to start putting my Patreon link down the bottom um, because YouTube's demonetized my account, so I would appreciate your support of any nature. It'll help me with um, uh, fixing and repairing some of the instruments and um, also um, uh, funding some, some projects that I'd like to do that I would love to share with you guys. So thanks everyone for watching again. Um, subscribe, um, like me, share me, do whatever you like. See you all later.